I don't speak Danish, but Jisk Bank, Denmark's third largest bank, is offering its customers negative rente. What does negative rente mean? Negative interest rates. Yes, Jisk are offering mortgages that have negative interest. They'll pay you to take out a mortgage. Well, not exactly. Diving deeper on their website, we're met with this page. To make it easier for all of us, I've translated the headings into English. Sorry, some of them got lost in translation. But what we can see is that a fixed rate 10 year mortgage has an interest rate of minus 0.5%. What does that mean? It means that you still have to make monthly repayments, but the interest rate reduces the principal you owe to the bank. You end up paying back less than what you borrowed. What effect do these low interest rates have on the housing market in Denmark? As expected, they're causing a housing bubble. Danish house prices reach highest ever level, beating 11-year record. Cost, not availability, is a source of housing difficulties in Danish cities. If we look at historical interest rates in Denmark, we can see that over the last decade, rates have plummeted. It's currently at a record low of zero, sorry, minus 0.75%. So how can JISC Bank offer negative interest rate mortgages? It's pretty simple. They're also borrowing money at negative interest rates from institutional investors. Plus, they also have the normal mortgage fees and charges that go along with every mortgage. One thing that you can guarantee is that the bank is still making a profit. This trend of negative interest rates is spreading throughout Europe. Just last month, the European Central Bank slashed its deposit rate to a record low of minus 0.5%. American President Donald Trump sent out the mandatory tweet. European Central Bank acting quickly cuts rates 10 basis points. They are trying and succeeding in depreciating the euro against the very strong dollar, hurting US exports. And the Fed sits and sits and sits. They get paid to borrow money while we are paying interest. It seems that even the President would like to see negative interest rates hit American shores. So what about the land of Oz? Are we going to see negative interest rates in Australia anytime soon? Recent news articles aren't very optimistic. To zero and beyond, what if zero interest rates don't work? When interest rates approach zero, the RBA must rethink monetary policy. What are the RBA to do? They're almost out of bullets. Most experts agree that the RBA will probably cut interest rates to 0.5% by the end of this year, and maybe even to 0.25% by early 2020. But will it help? Former Reserve Bank Governor Ian McFarlane says that interest rate cuts have already done everything they can do. He said that too much faith is being placed in the expectation that monetary policy can do things that it cannot do. Once interest rates are negligible, further cuts would seem to have very little power to do anything useful. Of course, all of these nose-diving interest rates are terrible for savers. Where are prudent people supposed to put their hard-earned money when interest rates are heading south? It's almost as if the powers that be don't want us to save. They want us to spend every last cent of our incomes, and on top of that, to get into massive debt. We're supposed to be living in the best time of all of human history, but we've let ourselves become slaves to mortgages and money. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison doesn't seem to be too worried. He seems to think that Australia's economy is coasting along just fine. The other night, he addressed a group of party faithful in Tasmania, saying, I'm pleased to say, though, that when you compare where Australia is to the other advanced economies of the world, we are punching well, well, well above our weight. And it's not by accident. It's not luck. It's a result of good stewardship, planning, management, and getting the right settings in place. Can anybody else say, toot your own horn? Anyway, that's it for me. I don't have anything else to say about interest rates. It's just one big global scheme designed to keep the regular person like you and me stuck in a life of servitude. Let me know in the comments below what your plans are in a world of increasingly negative interest rates.